welcome to pre math in this video we are going to find the sum of this given series 1 divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 45 plus 1 divided by 117 plus 1 divided by 221 plus 1 divided by 357 and finally plus 525 and we are not supposed to be using a calculators of any kind please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let's go ahead and get started and here's the very first thing we are going to do let me go ahead and tweak these fractions this uh, 5 could be written as 1 times 5 likewise this 45 could be written as 5 times 9 and this next 117 could be written as 9 times 13 this 221 could be written as 13 times 17 and this 357 could be written as 17 times 21 and finally this 525 could be written as 21 times 25 as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to manipulate these fractions furthermore let me go ahead and focus on this uh, fraction 1 divided by 5 times 9 and here I have copied it down and now let me go ahead and manipulate this fraction I can write this thing uh, 1 divided by 5 minus uh, 1 divided by 9 and now let's go ahead and simplify these uh, fractions we can use a crisscross method let me go ahead and cross multiply this way and this way 1 times 9 is going to give us a 9 and then I'm going to put down this minus sign the other way around 1 times 5 is 5 divided by now let me go ahead and multiply this uh, 5 times 9 in the denominator so I can write 5 times 9 and now we can see 9 minus 5 is going to give us 4 so therefore we can write 1 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 9 equals to 4 divided by 5 times 9 and now let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 divided by 4 and likewise over here 1 divided by 4 and here we can see this 4 and 4 cancels out so therefore we can see 1 divided by 5 times 9 could be written as 1 divided by 4 times 1 fifth minus 1 ninth so therefore 1 divided by 5 times 9 could be written as in this uh, form let me call this uh, 5 as k then this 9 is going to become k plus 4 so therefore we can write k equals to 5 and k plus 4 is going to become 9 where k is our positive integer therefore on the right hand side this 5 could also be written as k and this 9 is k plus 4 so therefore this whole thing has been generalized as this form so therefore we are going to apply this formula for each and every fraction and now let's focus on this very first fraction if I call this one as k and this 5 is going to become k plus 4 then this whole fraction could be written as 1 divided by 4 times 1 divided by 1 minus 1 divided by 5 by using this formula plus likewise I'm going to apply the formula on this one as well so this could be written as 1 divided by 4 times 1 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 9 
and this next one is going to be plus 1 divided by 4 times 1 divided by 9 minus 1 divided by 13 and likewise I took care of these fractions as well as you can see over here and now we can see we have a 1 divided by 4 is in common across the board as you can see over here so therefore let me go ahead and factor out 1 divided by 4 outside so therefore I can write this part inside parentheses 1 divided by 1 minus 1 fifth likewise this one plus 1 fifth minus 1 divided by 9 this next one plus 1 divided by 9 minus 1 divided by 13 this one as well plus 1 divided by 13 minus 1 divided by 17 this next one plus 1 divided by 17 minus 1 divided by 21 plus this finally could be written as 1 divided by 21 minus 1 divided by 25 and now we can see this negative 1 fifth and this positive 1 fifth is gone likewise negative 1 divided by 9 and positive 1 divided by 9 is gone likewise they are gone this they are gone as well and finally negative 1 divided by 21 and positive 1 divided by 21 are gone as well so therefore we are just simply ended up with the 1 divided by 4 times 1 divided by 1 minus 1 divided by 25 that means this part and this part and such kind of series is called uh, telescoping series or sometimes we call it uh, collapsing series and now let's focus on this part inside this bracket and here I have copied it down now we can see this could be simplified to 24 divided by 25 so therefore we can write this thing 1 divided by 4 times 24 divided by 25 and this could be reduced to 6 divided by 25 and here's our simplified answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye